black cat volume one number three december eighteen ninety five the archangel by james q hyatt crawford and i had gone up into the foothills of the sierras to shoot it was autumn yet the sun unscrewed us so immediately when we walked abroad that we were forced to seek the shelter of pines and dusty scrub oaks as often as they fell across our path we were lying one afternoon under a row of young firs on the crest of a ridge when the gaunt figure of an old man labored up the slope towards us if all the world laid about in the shade like you uns and me not interferin with nature she'd get her hand in again on her own hook he said throwing himself down beside us what he may have looked like when his features were normal we never knew at this advanced period he wore so inflated a nose of such eccentric modelling that his eyes couldn't count for much and his mouth was only suggested under a flippant grey beard i'm the archangel he said sweetly and smiled at us crawford shrugged himself a trifle nearer his gun and smiled back again there's no crack he assured us immediately that's been my title for three years i got it because i held my hand from going a man under false provocation tell us about it we said he found a stone to rest his back against and threw open his shirt at the throat these hot summer days sizzle just as they did then crisp your throat like coles curl bacon i'd mind all this country in the gold days and held my own with the dizziest dog of em all in finding the colour and epicurean the liquids i run a drinking fountain in opposition to the dead falls up mokaluma way and counted on joaquin and his band for making a pop for me regular once a week but tain't what i started out to say the old man fell into a reverie he seemed to see only the end of his toes about the archangel crawford prodded yes the archangel that's a matter of three short years aback this gentle old man stood up and hitched savagely at his trouser band before he sat down again adolf his name to tell you wouldn't it chin beard juicy voice and hands a curvin through the air well adolf and me set up backin and mining together five years aback i stayed on and on with him because his bread'll make you hungry in your sleep twas flour for that very bread that i went a ridin into town for one summer day there was a real estate dude come up socks we called him actual he went round in wormy-lookin things held up by garters well socks he took the folded newspaper under my saddle flap just as i was tightenin up to go home read that says he it's time all you fellers settled down to raisin families so's we could have a population and school districts and churches and sich never no hope of doing anything with a lot of bachelors well do you know it struck me like wisdom from the mouth of babes i rode along a trying of my best to read that paper not being over profuse in acquaintance with learning and the sun striking the white clay like a looking-glass i tucked it away and whistled till the barking of the dog realized me i was home later when smoke went out of the chimney curling through the trees adolf and me sat out on the sawbucks a reading of that paper the matrimonial messenger by your name says there was three pages of em saying how enchantin they was tall woman and short woman and young woman and old woman woman with children and woman without woman that could work and sew and cook and woman that could sing and dance and talk every blamed one of em willing to send their photograph swearing their faces was their fortunes all their life twasn't long before we'd settled between two of em but adolf he was for one and me for the other what's it to you says i you ain't a marion of her are you he couldn't but admit the fact still 
there's my living round her he says twas a widow i remember adolph was set on she'd raven locks and what she'd most pride in was her cookin and her sewin and her lovin heart i argued long i needed him favorable if it was to be peaceful like i remember tellin of him that we didn't need cookin and sewin bein used all our lives to managin these what we wanted was something amusin and up and learnin so we could feel spiritual proud you know i asked him if we'd ever strike it rich what'd we do with a wife that couldn't go dance and talk with the best of em anyway seein it was my business and i was set like a jumper on a claim adolph he give in the woman what made my heart feel empty said she was eighteen she was decorated with yellow hair and eyes like copper ore she could talk french and understood german and could play the piano she'd marry a man that wanted a companion and not to cook says i to myself continual that's you daniel well adolph and me we talked this thing waking and sleeping i'd more plans than a cow has keepers we got up a lettered melt snow and then we waited first nothing was said to the boys but when they caught on to my hanging round the post office they began to josh i always stepped up gallant to the postmistress sirs i've turned the cheeks of most woman pink in my day and i said said i let her please with a doffing of my hat and a rising inflection very polite but understanding it got to be so that when there never was anything handed out the boys would take the coffin down a laugh after a while it grew so's none of em turned up or paid any attention even adolph he took to going to sleep when i talked to her then a whole year ran out to summer again and i couldn't unthrone her that reigned in my heart one day i said to adolph a workin away blamed if i can forget her the ornament i said adolph he went in for grub that day and came out late a holdin of an envelope here's your letter he called sure enough i went out on the sawbuck and read it alone then he sat down by me and we read it over again twas only that she'd arrive on the afternoon train on the fifth and to have a methodist minister well sirs it meant a good deal for me to supply the necessaries for a sparkling jewel let alone the settling down for her to sparkle on but look come my way there'd been a milliner up from san francisco and fitted her an elegant place she'd failed and quick's a winkin i bought her looking-glass in red plush easy chair you'd ought to see that cabin there hung the thing opposite the stove all shinin and smilin and gilded right in front of it my red plush chair so's you could set down and put your feet up on another and see how you'd look in heaven on the fourth adolph revealed he'd business in a little town a mile up the railway he suffered a crampy kind of desperation not to be on hand to support me he said but he'd come in with a girl then he baked up bread and a cake and rode away sun come up on the fifth like a bull's-eye lantern i'd set up all the night before not to disturb anything and there was the morning for me to shave and get into my riggin calfskin vest with a hair on ain't a thing to slight sirs ceremonies or no ceremonies when i rode my mule up to the depot the boys was out to the puniest scrub of em all they give me cheers that'd blast rock and there was an arch sirs all flowered my legs wanted to sit down more than me train whistled in the distance there was no slinkin off round the corner for the boys braced me everywhere out she steps says and whether she was the sorriest or likeliest looking critter i couldn't have told for the flunk i was in after the blackness 
i see her long yellow hair and red cheeks all the conquering of my youth rose up within me and i up and held her to me for a kiss by the great snake mine but the woman don't shave beards off and drink whiskey i dropped her like a nettle but she went forward with the crowd smiling and a-smirking through the cheering and the uproar to the parsons the boys yelled i was forced off my feet but out came my gun halt i cried in a voice that brought em all on their haunches and still as colts raised on the spur i mean to shoot the wig off your head and the paint off your face adolf lefevre and leave you for the slimiest viper that crawls without legs the sight of my gun lay between his eyes and the crowd was as still as the barrel of a sudden came a voice in my ear to this day god only knows from where be like unto the archangels my arm fell to my side they lifted me on to their shoulders the archangel they sent out a echoing in the hills and it stuck sirs from that day to this though i've lived alone sirs ever since